picked up a few more things this past couple weeks got a small guitar amp here that doesn't work they said it just didn't turn on who knows what's wrong with it I'll dig into that eventually got a Technics SL3300 direct drive turntable it needs a new head shell assembly and a dust cover maybe some internal work I know it plays just needs a little bit of TLC and uh, that microwave there I've had that for a long long time it was just up in our kitchen for a while and I finally brought it back down here when we got a new one for our kitchen this is actually a uh, 1984 Quasar microwave built by Matsushita still works like a champ after almost 30 years down here we got a pair of Utah speakers model uh, WD90 12 inch three way and they're very heavy I've had the back off of one of these to uh, fix uh, some loose screws and surprisingly the woofer has a really tiny magnet it's a little Alnico magnet and uh, but I'm really surprised how much bass he's put out in fact I think all these need is some new uh, capacitors for the uh, crossover and they have wood veneer cabinets got some minor scratches but they're good good condition the, the grill cloth is in good condition I think they're gonna clean up really nice I'll have to hook those up one of these days and over here got more computers I need to start going through this stockpile I did find homes for two of them uh, a couple weeks ago but I still got a pretty good pile here got an old e-machine uh, Pentium 3 900 and some megahertz uh, that white Dell there we're still using that machine got uh, a couple Dells here uh, one's a complete system the other one's missing some parts and another one over here that uh, has a lot of bad capacitors in it <clears throat> I think it's a dimension 4550 or something like that probably gonna strip that because the case is broken but I want to hook these up on the bench and see see if they start up I think they got hard drives in and everything still hmm, what is this here e-machines t1090 what a powerhouse 900 whole megahertz and 128 megs of RAM holy crap this will run crisis in in uh, full, full detail yeah the fan sounds great And it's growling at me. Is it gonna do anything here? Uh, this reminds me of my old IBM PC 5150. That blinking dot up there. farther oh what's this restore Windows XP boot to command prompt from CD-ROM okay this is odd oh there is a restore disk in there probably want to take this out and try booting off the hard drive hmm hard drive issue going on here and the CD-ROM don't want to open F that's exactly what it is it's F ah works at a time H.2 now I'm probably not going to get my disc out <laughs> what a piece of junk control delete Three finger salute. One finger salute. It's actually going to boot off the CD ROM. Ugh. That sounds pretty bad. What a piece of crap.
Read, damn you. I'm gonna go AWOL on this thing. Eh, I'll hook up one of those bells and see what that one does. Give this one for later. So much for using the onboard video on that Dell. It's gonna be hard to plug something into that. I have to uh, find a video card here so I can see what all's on this machine. What is this? It's got a Windows XP COA, Windows XP Home Edition. It's a Dimension 2400. Yeah. The case ain't in too bad of shape, really. Got another one exactly like it down there, just missing some parts. Make make one good one out of two. Let's see what we got here. Well, there's no AGP in this Dell, so I put in a GeForce FX 5500 PCI card. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, it's alive. Uh, work, damn it. Oh my god. Can it make it all the way into Windows? I didn't hook up the Ethernet because I don't want to risk getting a virus on my network. Let's see. Video card's got a noisy fan. This definitely won't win any awards for boot time. If you're wondering, all those speckles on the monitor are not stuck pixels, it's just dust. For some reason the camera picks it up really well. This is one of my uh, favorite monitors actually, my old HP 1702. It was one of the, uh, I got this off eBay for next to nothing and recapped it. It's a nice test monitor. <coughs> Ugh, this thing smells like cigarettes. Come on, boot already. I wanna... Oh, what's it gonna do now? Oh my god. Uh, holy low resolution, man. Whatever. Next machine. This is the second of the Dimension 2400s. And, uh, actually, let me see if that's what that is. Yep, 2400. And, uh, I think this has a little bit bigger CPU. It's a Pentium 4 instead of a Celeron. And it has a Windows XP Pro COA on it. Hard drive is still there. <clears throat> that dim standby LED on the motherboard back there is almost a dead giveaway that the power supply is toast, so. I'm going to grab the one out of the other one and throw it in here real quick. Got the power supply swapped and that LED is nice and bright now. Let's see if it powers up. And what do you know? It works. <coughs> this one's got a newer BIOS on it too. Then the last one did. They had this one labeled parts donor, and uh, all it needed was a power supply. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Holy crap. Messy desktop much? Okay. Let's see what this thing's got in it. Once my mouse starts working here. <clears throat> oh god. Not McAfee. If you're wondering why I was quite angry at the e-machine, it's actually because I cut my finger on it earlier. So that's why I gave it the one finger salute. 
But anyway, uh, come on, give me my mouse already. I should have took the RAM out of the other one too and put it in this one. Actually, I already did. Uh, this one had no RAM in it. Oh, come on. I wonder if it's ever going to do anything here. Just install my mouse already so I can click out of this crap. It's only a bad thing about plugging a USB mouse into a computer that's being cold booted. Sometimes it takes forever to put the driver in so you can actually do anything. <clears throat> At least on Windows XP it does. Come on. Someday I'll be able to do something here. Just what you guys wanted to see, a five minute long video of me waiting for a mouse driver to load. It's about five minutes later and I'm still waiting here for my mouse to load because Windows thinks everything else is so much more important. Logitech update, HP update, McAfee update. Update your ass. Give me my mouse already. Updates are ready for your computer. Nah, really. This thing probably hasn't been turned on since 1965. Well, it's been almost 10 minutes that I've been waiting for this mouse, so I guess I'll just wait some more. Oh my god. I finally have a mouse. Cancel. Let wait for it to redraw the screen. Cancel. Cancel. Oh my god. Yes, cancel. Cancel. All I want to do is check the specs on this damn thing. I need to... Oh my god, really? Where's the, my computer icon? I can't find it. Here it is. Properties. Holy crap. <clears throat> Alright. Windows XP Pro, Service Pack 2. Pentium 4, 2.4 gig, 256 meg of RAM. It's got the original Dell Windows on it. So, this computer, well, of course, there's no AGP in it. Nonetheless, I could clean this up, make it into a decent web browsing machine. Just make one good one out of those two, and scrap the other one. I got a couple good hard drives out of the deal, anyway. Speaking of hard drive, I wonder how big this hard drive is. Probably not very big. Probably no more than 80 gig. Eh, total size 40 gigs. Eh, paperweight. Anyway, all that waiting just for that. I think that was all of the computers that are able to be powered up out of that stack. So let's see what comes up next. Uh, don't know how much time I'm going to have this weekend to work on projects and stuff, but I, I do have quite a, uh, a backlog of things that need to be done, so we'll see what happens next.